this is what we have going. I know a lot of people get over calculating with their notches and all that, you know, flare out the bottoms. I mean, I can, and with, with the with the triangle of fire, do you guys know the three elements? Well, you need some fuel, and yeah. you need some oxygen, yeah. and you need some heat. And if you take away any one of those, you ain't got no fire. That's right. So, so the theory is, is you flare out the bottom so you allow more airflow inside. Now, what some people will do, they'll stick their tinder bundle in here. I'm not necessarily a, a fan of that because putting a bunch of tinder in there just seems to uh, lessen the amount of airflow that you can get in. So from there, I'll put a leaf, a piece of leather, leather strap, whatever. I, I mean, even if it was this, this is going to be a little difficult. This is going to rock. Um, well, and we'll do it. We'll do it here instead of getting on the ground. So you want to go ahead and hold this. So the most important thing for me is pressure over speed. Some people say speed over pressure. I say pressure over speed. And you're going to get to the, you know how to do the handle, but I'm just doing it for the sake of everyone else. You get to the bottom. I continue pressing in hard. And that's because I'm trying to trap the heat. Okay. This wood actually is a little thick for my taste. Think of this wood as a giant heat sink. And the more there is, the more the heat dissipates. So you want to try to concentrate all the heat. I've gotten my fastest cold when I've had this wood no bigger than an eighth of an inch. That's when I get my fast cold. You're cutting them off in that. Of course, it also helps. I guess that the, the hole's already charred. So, if okay, so that's pressure, and I could tell just by the sound of it whether I have enough pressure or not. And now I could slow down and increase the pressure, and I still have smoke. Right? So I'm slowing down, but I have smoke. Now, when you combine both of them. There's a coal already, I think. There it is. Nice job, Alan. Hey. Fucking A, that is cool. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Notice I'm not blowing it. Why am I not blowing it? Because I have moisture in my and I have moisture in my breath, which could extinguish that. And we haven't even co covered body mechanics and positioning for people. I'm not a big guy. You know, there's. But there's there's guys that are big that can't do it, and a lot of that has to do with stamina. So, uh, you know, but we can I cover uh, body mechanics and positions and how they influence the effects of uh, getting a coal and whatnot. Nice job, Alan. That is that is amazing. Made it with ease. <laughs> That's, that worked really well. Wait till you try the Sotol. That's what I got a two second cold with, with Sotol. Would you use it for a hearth? Uh, the Sotol was the hearth, and the mule fat was the drill. Did you experiment uh, much with like the double hearth? Oh, yes, I have. And also, it's getting hot. I gotta put it out. <laughs> and also, in the notch of a, of a branch, how do you turn this off? You take this, 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 this wire right in there and have, you have a natural wire. But what is this? Uh, you, you think it's, you think it's, um, um this mullet. That's not, no, that's not 50. Oh, this is, this is mullet here. Yeah, that's mullet. See, my problem with mulling right, is I press hard, and it doesn't have the strength. Can you hold that real quick? And see how thin it is? When it's this thin, man, that's when my hands really get together, and that's how you develop the blisters that you have. Yeah. So I, you know, that, this is about optimal, and that's about what I want my tip as. Any thicker than that, again, think of it as a magnifying glass. You want to concentrate all that energy into one place. But if it's too thin, there's not enough surface area to create the dust. 